Hi Collective, welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal, a Divine Psychic Medium here delivering messages to you from the higher realms. So welcome here. If you're new, definitely you'll want to subscribe because I always connect with the cosmic energy so it's more fun to catch my readings in real time. Right, but all my readings are timeless. So let's see. With the current energies, we are still tapping into this new moon in Pisces. With this 313 portal. Let's see here. Full card. We just had the portal close from the 3rd of March through the 12th, which is... It's interesting it's the 313, right? Because now today's the 13th. There's something with that. All right, anyways. Right away, Seven of Swords is coming out with the Fool card. Interesting, right? So, there's some sort of lies, perhaps, deception, betrayal, or some sort of strategy for a new beginning. It's going to be getting refilled to you intuitively with the High Priestess. Hmm. Chariot and Ace of Pentacles. There's some sort of new beginning that is emerging here. King of Swords. Seven of Wands. There's something to do with the Sevens. Three of Wands split out. Something off at the distance. Knight of Cups slid out very nicely. Somebody is going after their heart's desire, or their heart's desire is coming in. Wow, it looks like this is justice. You know, what's interesting is I've been feeling this red-orange energy. Look, the Ten of Swords slid right off the top here. And then I noticed I pulled my deck, my Divine Warning deck. Can you see that it's written in white and red? Because um, I was feeling that strongly and I just noticed like different things like my daughter put this on my desk white and red just I'm like wow that goes along with see all the white and red on here I'm like that just goes in alignment with the the colors I'm feeling today and I noticed how popping her dress was with the red and she's wearing red in the chariot here hi baby I don't know what this is um You could be seeing 1010 frequency too. It could be confirmation that this is your reading. Ten of Swords to the Ten of Pentacles. There's some sort of change, but there's a warning here. <laughs> Let's see. Eight of Cups came out next to the Nine of Cups when I picked up the deck. Maybe you need to walk away to go after something. Maybe you need to close a door, open a door. <laughs> so you need to leave a situation, right? Four of Wands. Something to do with home and structure. Trying to play with the lighting here. I got my lighting. I have to keep moving around. <laughs> See the hanged man needing to let go. Empress energy. There's all this touching the heart. She's touching her heart there too. Just going after your heart's desire. I was feeling a little bit of heart tension earlier today sometimes it goes in alignment with me with the readings because i've been trying to get to where i could do the reading all afternoon seeing again with the ace of cups she's touching her heart right with divine warnings here maybe somebody's going to find out something that's going to be very hurtful or they're going to do something um the emperor this year with the moon, yeah. There could be some sort of secret. That could be very painful. Ten of Wands, see how it's like her dress is on fire and she's like, I don't even care. I mean, it. it's more, I think she cares, right? But she's sad. 
but she's just standing there like like I like my dress is on fire what am I gonna do like um she's not trying to save her dress she's not even trying to save herself so I feel like somebody's gonna find out something that it's it's gonna it's gonna hurt but for some of you it's because this cycle is set to close out there's something new that's meant to come in here. It may put you in hermit energy with this red. You need to turn this pain into a passion, okay? Because you're being realigned. If you haven't seen 1010, it, it's a change. It's a paradigm shift. There's, um, the sun is trying to come in, but it's like for something, some sort of structure's got to be turned out. For some of you, it could be like finding out like a lover's enemy. Not for everybody though, I just got that. Or just need to escape something. Um, wow. Let's try to find out a little bit more. Now if this isn't your story, don't claim it. It will be confirmation of what you feel already if this is your reading. Right? Don't ever force anything to fit, know that. Right? Because I read collectively. So this King of Pentacles keeps coming. So this could be one of the energies that you're dealing with here. I feel three of wands. They're off at the distance. Tell me more about what's going on with this warning energy. My ears ringing. High Priestess and the Nine of Pentacles. You're going to get maybe something you find out intuitively. There's that Five of Swords again. See that fighting energy? See, I'm feeling like somebody's been fighting with you, sabotaging you. For some of you, you could be finding out. It might not be a lover. Like, it could be family, friends, people close to you. But see, like, somebody's out to destroy you. Someone, someone's not on your team. And that's what I'm getting here. Yeah. And it's going to be very shattering. Because there's some sort of movement. It's like she knows she's got to make movement, Six of Swords, and she's just sitting there. I get the chest out, chin up energy here. Like, you're going to have to pick yourself up. You're going to have to accept what happened here. See, and she looks devastated there. It's this beautiful Empress energy. I always get a motherly energy, too. For someone, this could be a child. A child you're having to let go of. Hanged man energy. Or a new perspective or something. There's that ten of wands again. Something was too much of a burden. Maybe someone's needing to let go of something, right? I don't know why I split the deck and I'm feeling to shuffle. But yeah, the eight of swords keeping you trapped and stuck in something. I keep looking at this nine of pentacles with the high priestess. It's like someone's getting their wish fulfillment. Someone's going to be set free of something. Six of Cups, something from the past I feel is coming in, or somebody from the past, or something to do with the past, some sort of secret that was creating blockages. Maybe for some of you, intuitively, you could be finding out that you've had certain karmic family members, friends, loved ones that have been blocking your destiny. Magician energy, maybe you've manifested some sort of out. There's the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles now. Coming out again next to the Emperor. I feel for a lot of you, you're taking charge and control of your destiny and going after it. Maybe it comes at a sacrifice of letting something go that could be very hard that you didn't want to let go of. You're showing me victory here. I'm coming in fast. Getting out of a stuck situation. The eights were next to each other. You could be seeing 8-8. Eight, eight. You could look up 88. Is that it could be a universal code number. Something is going to take off very fast. And we had a card flipped here, which was the Four of Cups, a missed opportunity. You, it's like somebody knows they have to make a choice to not miss out on their destiny timeline because somebody was creating a block. So this could be a very hard decision that you're finding out that you're needing to make here. Judgment's being called in a situation. This has to do with a walking away, a new perspective, a letting go of something. Maybe for some of you, like, you have to, like, let the cards as they fall. Like, let fate take over. Let, <clears throat> like, surrender to the divine. 
and to go after your heart's desire. See, there's this Nine of Cups, Three of Swords. Like, so maybe somebody has to break somebody's heart to go after their heart's desire, right? Just a minute, I'm almost done. All right, so I guess I better go. I'm sending love and light to all of you, though. Watch whatever you feel guided to, right? If it's not your story, don't claim it. I'll, I'll think, oh my gosh, I'm, works. I'm going to be working on some more readings later. So feel free to watch, alright? Alright, love and lights, I'll be. Bye.